Did you hear them say that it's 34 metres from here to the ground? 34 metres! Haven't fallen off the edge yet. You don't need to say yet. I'm Sophia. I'm Indy. We're cousins. And I'm also her carer. We want to show a light-hearted, fun look into living with a disability. We cover sex and relationships, career, housing, yeah. and Indy comes along for the ride. I don't know what I want to do with my degree when I finished it, so I don't know. Like, you don't know if you want to be a lawyer? Yeah. Because people are always so interested when you say, like, I'm studying law. People are always, like, shocked, which is problematic, but still. <laughs> Why are they shocked, Indy? Because you're disabled and people expect less of you. That's... As they shouldn't, obviously, yeah. but it's a good thing to talk about and be like, I can do what everyone else can do. Maybe we should do some research about how I can do it better. It would be good to talk to someone who's, like, somewhat in your position or, like, knows about it, mm. just to give you kind of some advice for navigating this career. Like a legal recruiter? Yeah. Should we try find one? Yeah. Oh, look, it's co-legal. Hey, this looks quite good. Are you excited to go and see a legal recruiter today? Yeah. Obviously, getting a job as a disabled graduate is going to be harder than just a normal graduate, but, you know, I'm basically off legally blonde, so I can do anything. <laughs> This is the building. Great navigation from you, Indy. Thanks. OK, that's a lot of stairs. Uh, a lot of stairs. Cool. Sweet, thank, thank you. you. I'll just check if there's a door around here. Yeah. Oh, the hill is oh, yeah. so steep. Yeah, but there's a door there. OK, push me. Go. Go. Yeah, go. go. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is my workout for the day. Mine too. Okay, Indy, let's get a job. Okay. Hi, Sophia, how are you doing? Good, thank you, how are nice you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Indy. Hi, Hi, Indy, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Do you guys like to come through here? Yeah, thank you. And so I'm curious, you know, you were training to be a horse jockey. Mm -hmm some years back and obviously you had the accident mm -hmm. and that's quite a physically demanding job in quite a different area so yeah. what got you interested in um, studying law in the first place the situation around my accident in itself since it was at work there was the work safe investigation and then also as a disabled person you just naturally learn that the world is not made for us at all and there are things that can be done to improve it and I think that law would be a useful way to make those changes. I'll tell you about my disabilities. I have 24-hour carers, so she's currently working for me. Right. And I don't want her around all the time, but I just need her some of the time, <laughs> which is really annoying because obviously if I'm at work, she has to be somewhere in the proximity to help me. So do you think that that would be a problem for some employers? I think that, you know, it's something that will need to be cleared on some kind of security, health and safety basis because in a law firm you're dealing with confidential information. As long as they know that you'll be in the building and you'll be on the office floor, there's probably some kind of agreement that will need to be in place around that. I am a little bit worried about how the law firms will um, look at me as a candidate compared to the other candidates because of my disability. Yeah, I guess in my experience, I haven't come across too many candidates that do have a physical disability, but you know, we're in the age of diversity and inclusion. Law firms and organisations are a lot more responsive and interested to hire a diverse range um, of, of lawyers. And so actually having a physical disability, I don't think it will set you back. Mm -hmm. It's nice that I'd get a job, but I also want to get the job off my own merits. Yeah, and I think that, you know, regardless of whether you have a physical disability or not, if you don't have decent grades, often you won't get your foot through the door with at least the larger law firms. And so, do you think that you would, what sort of areas of law might interest you um, in applying for? I really don't know. I, um, I really don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to be a lawyer. <laughs> cool. It was great. It made me feel more confident about entering 
the profession. I am super proud of Soph for changing her career path. Honestly, she is someone who is going to excel at anything that she puts her mind to. And I think being a lawyer is perfect for her because she is great at arguing. Today's a big stunt. How are you feeling? Good. How are you feeling about it? I'm a bit scared. I don't know why you're not scared. I'm not scared because I don't really get scared for things. Yeah, but I could push you off the roof. I mean, I don't think you're going to. I'm not nervous now, but I'll get nervous when, once we're out there. Yeah. But I'm breaking history, so <laughs> there's no nerves. So what is the final plan? Being carried by hot rugby players? It's firemen. I don't know if they're hot. I'm sorry. That's I just right. I didn't have a selection. We're gonna get what we're gonna get. That's right. Cool. But you're getting carried up, yeah. So, yeah, I think carried is probably the easiest. Yeah, and it takes me out of the equation, you know? Yeah. If you're dropped, not my fault. My lady, here we go. Just before we get underway. I feel like you need to know how much has gone into the logistics of planning this. Like, TC has been on it, right? Like, Aww. so much prep prior to this. Yeah, me and Ringo, we've been measuring the walkway, measuring wheelchairs, trying to figure out a safe way to get you up the stairs. It sounds like a bloody nuisance, sorry. It's been interesting. <laughs> What's your connection to Eden Park? Well, I believe there was a connection to Eden Park. Yeah, I worked here for a few years. Uh, I worked on the reception. And I'm pretty sure I was an accidental um, employee because when they gave me an interview, they didn't know that I couldn't move my hands. And then, anyway, I think I just charmed them with my personality and they gave me the job anyway. Do you reckon it's going to work? I mean, the first challenge is getting Soph into one of these. <laughs> and one of those, is that right? Correct. Yeah. But it's definitely going to work. You look good. Blue is your colour, remember? I know. How are you feeling on these stairs, so? It's quite steep. Back. We got you. 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 It's all part of the fun. <laughs> can I hold you then? Of course you can. <laughs> That is so sick. Did you hear them say that it's 34 metres from here to the ground? 34 metres? That's crazy, eh? Uh, it looks like a kilometre. I feel like you got to relax a bit. I See, when I'm on the clock as a carer, you've got to be thinking, you know? Is she going to roll off the roof? Is it my job to make sure that doesn't happen? <laughs> you should get paid danger money. Yeah. I just can't see where I'm going because my knees are sticking out so much. Haven't fallen off the edge yet. You don't need to say yet. Well, we're not finished. <laughs> yeah, I know, but we don't want to leave opportunity. Do you feel safe? Yeah, do you? Yeah. Auckland's huge, eh? Yeah. I'm so glad we're doing this. This is awesome. Did you ever think you'd get up to the rooftop, like when you worked here and were seeing other people come up here? Did you think you'd get to do it one day? Yeah, I did think I'd be able to do it because Nick always talks about doing it. He acts as though I'm like the test dummy. Am I your number one carer now that I made this happen? Yeah, thank you for that. Yes. You can be number Shit. one for the day. This way. Okay, three, two, one, big smiles. This has been such a good day. I know. I can't wait to see what we do next. Same. But OK, question of the day. Mm -hmm. Rate my caring skills out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yay. We've had such a good day. What's to complain about? Yeah, today's been good. Yeah, real good. Sorry, what's the time? 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock. We'll be late for uni. And do you always make us late. 6 out of 10.